Hello everybody, five awesome translation tips for GCSE Spanish. So let's go. So, verbs. What form of the verb do you need? And who's doing the action? Is it yo? Is it tú? Is it él? Or ella? Or usted? In other words, is it I, you, he, she or you? Really important this, that you know who is actually doing the action of the verb. Okay then, so adjectives are super important, they're describing words and you've got to know whether it should be in the masculine or the feminine or the singular or the plural. So there's lots going on, lots to think about. Masculine, feminine, singular, plural. As I say, lots to think about. Here we go, point number three, verbs again. Make sure your verbs are in the right tense. Are they in the present? Como? The future? Comeré. The imperfect? Comía. The preterite? Comí. Or the conditional? Comería. These are really important and get the high grades. You've got to be able to do these with accuracy. So now, are nouns, are they el or la or los or las? It's really following on from what we've just done. But do you know your el from your la, from your los, from your las? If you don't, you're likely not to score as well as somebody who does. So learn the words with el and la and los and las. And number five, absolutely imperative. Know these phrases well. Hoy, today, ayer, yesterday. Mañana, tomorrow, la semana que viene, or la semana pasada, last week, and la semana que viene. Make sure you know these, lots of students don't, make sure you do, and it will pay off. So there we have it, that's been compiled by GCSE Spanish on the net. Now if you found this useful, hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel, because there will be lots more coming this way, or even coming your way. Hasta pronto, amigos míos.